almost ready. Welcome everyone. I am Kim Arneson. I am the Administrative Coordinator for the Healer Within Foundation and I will be introducing our presenter today um, and for our today's session for our practice later session. But first, uh, we're absolutely delighted to have you guys back with us today for the return of our Tai Chi practice later sessions. We also want to extend a huge thank you to our leader today, Darlene Meltzer from Your Chi Lifestyle for joining us in this space. Thank you so much, Darlene. Um, Darlene will be leading us through a 30 to 40 minute practice session today. Towards the end of her practice session, you'll find her contact information located in the chat section section of this video if you feel inclined to check out her work and her latest offerings after what is sure to be a beautiful session. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our presenter, Darlene. Darlene has been in the fitness industry for over 40 years. Her various certifications are through IIQTC, Balanced Body Certification in Pilates, and Qigong Certification through Lee Holden. She is an ACE certified personal trainer and has earned a degree, a bachelor's degree in psychology. When she was 20 years old, she was a very, in a very serious car accident. This influenced her focus on health and healing. She sought out various ways to heal her body and mind, and she now practices mindfulness, such as Buddhist meditation, Pilates, Qigong, Chai Chi, breathwork, and yoga, and this is all brought into her work. Um, we are so grateful and so thankful to have Darlene here with us, so thank you again, Darlene. Thank you to this community for partaking in this practice leader session, and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Without further ado, welcome Darlene, and when you are ready, feel free to go ahead and um, begin. Right. Hello, everyone. So great to be here. And thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to share my practice with you. And so today's practice, um, you know, just take care of yourself and modify anything that's needed. I will offer some modifications as we go along. But without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start by aligning our three treasures, the mind, the body, and the breath. And I'm going to tap the singing bowl for each one of those. So go ahead and first, let's just settle in, taking some nice deep breaths, feeling your body and the support of the earth. And just taking a deep breath in, I'll tap the singing bowl, connecting your body with the earth. And then let's begin noticing the heart center, the heart mind, and just take a nice deep breath into that. And then lastly, the mind. The mind is always thinking and busy. And right here, right now, we're just going to be the observer of our thoughts. We'll be, um, take on Shen mind. So we observe the thoughts with non-attachment. Now that we're beginning to become more centered in our inward body. Let's go ahead and raise the arms up to the sides and then put the past in one hand and the future in the other and then bring both hands together at the heart center, committing right here, right now to present moment focus. Take a deep breath into that. And then simply allow the arms to come down and we'll begin to knock on the lower dantian and the door of life in the back. Soften your knees and let your tailbone drop a little bit and raise the crown of your head, elongate your spine and allow your arms and shoulders to relax. Head and neck relaxed. 
And when we're hitting these areas of our body, we're stimulating the lower Dantian, just below the navel, the sea of chi, and the door of life in the back. Just to give you a back view, we're in this sacrum area, the sacred area of the spine. And then let's go ahead and tap the lung points just under the collarbone on your chest, lung points one and two, while you're also tapping the door of life in the back. Allow your neck to turn if that's comfortable for you. If for some reason you get dizzy, then just stay gazing forward. And then now let's tap the top of the shoulders, the trapezius area and the door of life. This area is like a highway to our brains. It helps with clarity of the mind and decision making. And then we're going to move right back down to the lung points and the lower dantian. And then just begin to let that slow down. And let the arms release from touching the body, but let the arms swirl in front and all around you. This is water waves, allowing you to connect more deeply to your internal energy as well as the external energy all around us. Slow, deep breathing. And then allow that to come to stillness for a moment and we'll have soft arms around in front, a little bend in the knees, a luji posture. We'll take three deep breaths here, softening the shoulders, deep breath into the belly and the chest, and then releasing the breath, chest, ribs, belly toward the spine. One more deep breath. Noticing how you're feeling. On your next breath, raise the arms for spinal cord breathing. Open the chest and the heart, gaze up to the sky. Keep your knees bent. And then exhale, tuck and round the back. Squeeze, make soft fists and squeeze and tense the muscles to release tension. And then soften and open the heart. And we're just gonna float back and forth now, warming up the spine and all the muscles, stimulating the fluids in the spinal cord allowing the body to release stagnation. Exhale as you ground, inhale as you open, soften. Let's do one more time here, each direction. And then you'll do my mirror image and place one hand to the earth, your right hand and your left up to the sky, pressing the palms apart and then reaching over a nice side bend. We're warming up our body to prepare to work with our chi. Exhale, pinkies towards you, bend the knees and then inhale, palms stretch apart, up and over. And then find your rhythm here. Taking your time to open up the side body. Exhale, center, inhale. As you stretch both. Creating more space between the vertebra, which will create better nerve conduction in the spine. Let's do one more each side. Just 
and then simply place the hands lower. And now we're gonna just do a little twist. So let the arm go across the body and flexing at the palm, stretching the meridians, look over your shoulder. And also, I'm sorry, have a little wider stance here as you take a nice moment to twist the spine, creating some rotation. You could shift the weight if you like. Breathing naturally. Let's do one more each side. And then sweep the arms down and grab a hold of your wrist in this wide leg horse stance. Inhale up for a full body stretch. Stretching up and then press the hips forward and gaze up at the sky. And then exhale, soften all the way forward fold. Stretching the back of the legs and the back of the spine. Inhale, rolling up. Stretching back. Engage the glutes and the leg muscles, and then exhale all the way down. It's a full body stretch. Let's do one more here. Exhaling all the way down, and then rolling up. Um, our next stretch is going to be um, palms out for teacups. So you're gonna glide the hands forward. The hips will glide back, spiral the hands behind you, undulate the spine, reach up and back and around back where we started. So let's do that again. Palms are up, forward fold, reach up and back. And then see if you can just go very smoothly, inhaling and exhaling. Let your spine wave. You could modify this in any way that suits you by not reaching the hips as far back or the shoulders as round. You could create a shorter lever with the arms. Allowing your body to move like water fluidly. One more here. And sweep the arms down. Let's go ahead and relax the neck by pressing the palms, spreading the feathers, and Having your ear towards your shoulder, and then just do a little nod. Gazing down, feeling a nice stretch in the back of the neck and the side, and then the front of the neck. One more time. And then simply drop the chin to the chest and ear to the other shoulder. And you could change the arm movement so that you're stretching the yang side of the arm. Nice gentle movement with the neck, always listening to your body and staying in your comfort zone. One more time here. And then just releasing that stretch. Let's do um, uh, something to release tension in the shoulders and the neck by lifting the shoulders up and a little soft fist and then <sighs> inhale, lifting shoulders and <sighs> exhale, release. Two more. All right. No, 
Inhale, let's take a moment to sense and feel where we're at. After just these simple, gentle movements, noticing any tingling you may feel in the arms and the hands and the legs. Now we're going to move into some tapping. So let's tap with the fingertips on the center of the chest. And I like to do the ha sound as I do this. This is great for releasing any emotional stress that you might be feeling. One more. Now let's begin to make a cup hand and tap down the yin side of the arm and up the yang side, chest, shoulder, yin and yang side. One more time. And then we'll go all the way across to the other side. Circulating the chi. One more time. And then we'll release that. And we'll begin to put a little energy into the kidneys, putting the hands on the back of the kidneys and a little forward with the um, upper back and just breathe into the kidneys. Deep breath, expanding the fingertips. And exhale. We'll do that three times. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And then now we'll begin to knock a little on the outside of the hips and the glutes. tapping but on the kidney area the kidneys are the batteries of the body um, related to Chinese medicine this is a great way of energizing your body when you're tired tapping the kidneys gently up and down the back and then now we'll go down the yang side of the, the legs tapping and then up the yin side the inner thigh Circulating the chi. Let's do one more. All right, and one more tapping um, area is the qua. This is um, very stimulating for the immune system. Now let's do a fist, a tap, and a bend of the knees. Good little uh, musical session going here. <laughs> little percussion. Gotta have some fun when we're playing with chi. All right, and now we'll move into shaking. Let's shake it up. And shaking can be done very slowly or more quickly, depending on what you need. And so I also like to make that sound, the ha sound when shaking, inhaling. <sighs> Exhale with the ha. Relaxing the shoulders and the lower back while we do this. Allowing the body to release tension, stress. One more time. And then now we will sense and notice 
more beautiful chi circulation, more tingling, warmth, whatever you're feeling, feeling that bubbling, beautiful life force energy. On your next in-breath, put a little weight onto your heels and take an in-breath and just let the arms float up for opening the flow. And then exhale a little more weight on the ball of the foot and a little undulation of your spine. Feeling that wave of energy move through the back of the body, down the front. Inhaling and exhaling down, waving the spine, feeling that water-like fluidity in the body and the energy of your body. Allowing that relaxation to move through you. On the next one, let's leave your left hand down and your right will float up and float down. A little turning from your center toward the midline. Exhale down, inhaling up. Very soft, like just floating the arm up with the breath, coordinating the breath and the movement. And then we're going to move this into Kuan Yin Paints the Rainbow. So as you float your right hand up, let it float all the way up and around. And gaze back at the hand. The palm will come up and the other palm will come down. Exhale, float both down. And then with your left hand, sweep it up. Paint your beautiful rainbow. Exhaling, palm up, palm down, both palms down. And Kuan Yin is the goddess of compassion. And so we're inviting our own compassion in and enjoying the beauty of using our imagination sweeping the colors of the rainbow, the full spectrum of life, enjoying that beauty, illuminating our heart, our compassion. Exhale, float down. Inhale, float the arm all the way up and around. Inhale and exhale deeply, alternating sides. Feeling your heart space open with beauty and delight. Let's do one more each side. Last time. Now I'd like to move into grasping the bird's tail. Um, we're going to be pointing at your right elbow. And this is protection of the heart. And then inhale and open the heart. Exhale, pointing to your left elbow. 
assuming you're doing my mirror image and then opening the arms, filling the heart up with light, switching sides, exhale and inhale. Protecting the heart, having boundaries and then opening the heart to full abundance of love and joy. We'll do one more on this side. And then we'll switch again and we'll be pointing to your right elbow and this time we'll turn at the waist release the back hand circle it around and gently press forward exhale inhale into the heart and the chest exhale opening letting go sweeping the arms out pointing to your left elbow exhale Turn at the waist, sweep the arm up and around, and then gently press forward. Inhale deeply into the heart space, and then exhale anything heavy on the heart. Open the arms. Inhale. Pointing to the right side and turning at the waist, sweep the arm back and around, exhale. And now we'll just alternate a couple more times here, sweep up and around. One more time here, pointing to your left side. Exhale forward. Inhale and exhale, sweeping out and around. Bring the legs in a little closer and we're going to move to flying. Inhale your wings up to shoulder height. Exhale, float down. When we're flying, it relates to looking at things in a different perspective, being a little more lighthearted in our thinking. Inhale, float the wings. Exhale, float them down. On the next one, we're gonna float the wings all the way above the head and then let them float down. And then we'll go to shoulder height, float down, floating all the way up again. And I want you to step out just a little bit and we're gonna float your wings up to shoulder height, shift your weight to your right, and then allow the knee to come up, and then exhale, float down. If you're not able to do that, we're gonna to move to the opposite side, shifting weight, exhale down. Shift weight, inhale, float the arms to shoulder height. If you're not able to lift the leg, just let the foot glide and put more of the weight on one side of your body to enhance your balance. Exhale, float down. Shift weight, lift knee, float down. 
is wonderful for our balance, for concentration of mind. if you can tap down gently and the wings come down simultaneously. On the next one, let's lift, shifting weight to your left, arms up overhead, bend the knee behind you, exhale, float down, shift weight. Lift your wings all the way above your head and bend the knee behind you. Exhale, float down. Shift weight. Inhale. Bend the knee behind you. Shift weight, float down. Let's do one more each side. Last time. And floating all the way down. Now, um, let's go ahead and reach the arms open and pull down the heavens, just letting everything settle in, exhaling, float down. Inhale and exhale, and just feel like you're pouring in beauty and light into every cell, healing your body, creating your beautiful elixir of health and well-being for your mind, your heart, and your body. Inhale up, exhaling down, sinking a little in the knees, Pouring in radiance and light. Let's do one more here. Let's soften the knees a bit and the arms and just Take a moment to notice how we're feeling. How are you feeling now? Let's begin to rub the palms together to give ourselves a beautiful chi back. So creating a little heat in your hands, rubbing them together. Now when you're ready, let's start with the face. Just nice and soft, feel the warmth all around the face, the ears, crown of the head. Let the arms float around the head and then widening your shafts a little bit. Let's float and bathe ourselves going down the inside of the arm and up the yang side, all across the heart, switching to the other side. And then embrace tiger, the true nature of ourselves, our authenticity. And then sweeping down the back of the body and you can touch or not touch your body. And then the kidney area and down the yang side of the legs and up the yin side. And then again, let's repeat that. Down the yin side, sweeping all around, feeling our energy, moving the energy for healing every cell in your body. If there's any area that needs extra healing, you may want to stay there a little longer. Sweep down. Inhale. And 
exhale one last time sweep across the heart down the yin side up the yang side moving to the other side embracing tiger sweeping down the back of the body the yang side and up the yin And let's begin to bring the legs together and have one hand in receptivity and the other is going to gather our energy, aligning our three treasures, aligning our minds with our speech, with our hearts, and with the actions that we take in life. Switching hands, gather, all that beautiful energy, aligning your energy, exhaling down, centering your mind and body. Inhale, exhale all the way down. Let's do one more on each side. time. And then now let's place both hands at the lower Dantian, feet together, swaying bamboo, allowing yourself to connect with the resiliency of your body, the strength and power of your mind and body. Just letting your body flow as it wants to, settling in, knowing that you are creating your highest well being. Nourishing every cell in your body for its highest health and good. I always like to close my practice with a Buddhist prayer or a meta of loving kindness to all living things. So if you want to join me, we goes like this. You can place your hands at your heart center. Take a deep breath into that. And then we'll send loving kindness to all living things. May they be happy and peaceful. May they be healthy and strong and have a life that flows with ease. May their hearts be filled with love and joy. And then we say that same prayer for ourselves. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be healthy and strong. May I have a life that flows with ease and a heart filled with love and joy. And then I just want to say thank you so much um, for the Healer Within Foundation, for having these practices available for everyone and for all the trainings and all the wonderful things that they do. For Roger Yonke creating this amazing um, practices that are so accessible to so many. And I just thank you all so much for being here today.